Good morning YouTube or good afternoon YouTube. So with today's video, this note itself has never really been done before, but I'm gonna give you three great Lotus fragrances. Now for me, Lotus itself, it is a floral, but I find it does add a bit of an aquatic floral type of touch. Now, I know that it's late in the summertime and I just thought of this idea just a couple days ago, but I really wanted to do this video because with my channel, I do want to stand out and give you guys something, whether it's a different type of list or just like a different type of note, right? So I do have like other notes out there like cinnamon, I got lavender and so on. But first one is a great scent that is quite affordable and that's gonna be Kenzo Lo Put Om or Lo Par Kenzo Put Om. Now this is gonna be the oldest fragrance in this video as it came out in 1999. But this stuff is so incredibly refreshing. It's just, oh my lord. With this one here, you're gonna get lemon and yuzu. Opens up very bright, very fresh, and very citrusy. It's really attention grabbing, but Apparently there's green pepper in the top note as well. I don't get green pepper, but I do get a bit of a green sort of undertone. Green notes is listed as an official note breakdown, but whatever it is, whether it's the green pepper or the green notes, there is a touch of greenery to it. But you are gonna get like water mint, sure, a whole lot of aquatics, but you're also gonna get that floral touch of the lotus, okay? The lotus and the watery touch with this, or like the aquatic notes, is really nice. But the base itself is like a like a cedar, birch, whatever. It's a type of woods with musk. I don't get a lot of woods, but I do get a lot of um, musk. It's predominantly citrus with the lotus, the aquatics, which is all like evenly matched. One is not fighting for like supremacy here, but. There is like an undertone of greenery, then it's gonna be the musk, okay? Just super refreshing, it's easy going, it's relaxing. It's a very soothing and calming scent. I just discovered this one like a couple months ago because of Pierre. Pierre from Norway, and I just released this video that I did with Chad Secrets a couple days ago. But this, oh my lord, it is so great. I almost dropped the cap. But I have avoided this brand for a long time. I don't know why, maybe it's just cause like, you know, maybe it's my own ignorance cause I, I, I really wasn't really feeling these like floral type of scents, right? You know, but as I grow up and mature, you know, I'm 46, I'm just, maybe I'm a late bloomer, but I'm really appreciating these like citrusy floral scents. Now when it's overly floral, overly rosy, no, that's not something that will really go along with my taste, but this fragrance here is just fantastic. I don't want to say it's like an elegant type of citrus, but it is a little bit more of a polished sort of summer scent. You can wear this dress like this, you could dress it with a white t-shirt and jeans, but this will go very well with like an, a really nice button up and a nice pair of trousers. So perfect for that. It's like a modern day gentleman type of scent. And even though that this came out in 1999, I still find it's a timeless scent. So longevity, not great, but not bad. Four to five hours. Fragrance number two is another cheapie, but don't worry guys, if you're into niche, we do have one niche, but some people say it's like a high level designer, whatever. It's gonna cost you more money, but number two does not. So that is gonna be Dunhill Pure. It came out in 2006. Now this one here does have lotus leaf. There is an aquatic touch to it. There's cardamom, there's black pepper, but there's also iris. This is like a warm, spicy aquatic scent with some florals, but also like a nice powdery iris. I feel like there's a little bit more going on because you get this really like, maybe like a little bit of an ozonic feel, but very aquatic-like. But that's what the note breakdown is on Fragranska. What I personally get, I do get the, the watery lotus, I do get the warm spices, but I get like, like a cinnamon cardamom sort of spice. Not like black pepper, but it's nice, it's fresh, it's spicy, it's quite aromatic, a little aquatic, and most certainly powdery from the iris itself. But it is a feel-good scent. 
Now, these are marketed towards the men out there. In my opinion, they can both be unisex. I find that this one here is a little bit more elegant, a little bit more polished than this one here. You could wear this to work if you have to wear a suit and tie, but for me, it's great like this. Just like a golf shirt or a type of like whatever this is, but it's just casual in my opinion. It's good for school, you know, even though that it's a little bit older. The scent itself, I find that even young people in high school can really pull this one off. And longevity is gonna be about four to five hours. And for the niche guys out there, or someone who wants to spend a little bit more money, that's gonna be Aqui de Parma Eau de Parfum Yuzu or Yuzu Eau de Parfum. This is just a little mini that you can get for about, you are spending a little bit more money for it, but like 80 bucks on fragrance stuff. That's Canadian. So $80 Canadian is probably around like $65 to $68 USD, which is still over the top expensive for something like this. But for a 100 ml, the time of this recording, it, it, you can get it for about 150 to 160 Canadian. So that's maybe like 120 USD. In my opinion, that's not so bad. That's a much better value than this one here. But this one here is just very bright with the citruses. You know what, let's spray this one. You know. I'm wearing it now, you know, I've been wearing it earlier today, but it's still there. Bright, sour, tart yuzu and bergamot, it really gravitates you, but you definitely get like some violet leaf. The violet leaf does add a bit of an aromatic touch. You do get the, the lotus leaf itself, but there's like a little bit of white florals, which is gonna be the jasmine. There's also mimosa to add like a little bit more of a floral touch, but I get more like lotus than anything and maybe like a little bit of like jasmine towards the background. But there is like a musky woodiness to it. As well, this one is super aromatic, very bright, very citrusy with a nice aquatic like lotus. Just like a, a floral touch to it. And the base itself, you are gonna get like a smidge of woods but more musk than, than anything. The musk itself is very clean, not like Elon Musk. I know I use that gif quite a bit. I know, you know, it's kind of played out, but this is me, okay? But very fresh, aromatic, inoffensive. It's smooth, it's very well blended, and it smells natural. I would say, however, out of the three fragrances in this video, this one here is the most polished, the most refined but you can wear it with a white t-shirt and jeans, of course, you could wear it like this, but you can also wear it to work, like maybe like a semi, like a daytime semi-formal event that's not overly formal. If you're just a guest at a wedding, you know, and it's an outdoor wedding, I think that you can wear this. But if you're the groom itself, or you're part of like the wedding party, I would reach for something a little bit more elegant, a little bit more formal, because even though that there is a touch of like classiness to it, it's not overly classy in my opinion. And the performance, this is where it falters. It's eau de parfum. It's only like four to five hours. So it's like, you know, it, this really should be like an eau de toilette in my opinion, because four to five hours with an EDP, uh, you know, but you know, this one here, regardless, still smells fantastic. And everybody, that is three great Lotus fragrances for 2023. Hopefully you really enjoyed this video and that it was a, something a little bit different because you know, again, this note itself is not all that common or really gets any love, okay? But because of this was a very specific note for a fragrance video, if you wanna see other specific notes out there, you might get like blood orange, you might get cinnamon, cardamom, whatever. Check out right here. And if you like this very video, please leave me one of these. Any reviews that I've done on these fragrances, they will all be down in the description box below. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody.